Oh, King's okay, Table okay. Podcast. I'm your host, KCDG. King Chaos. We have Nagu here on the building tonight. Continue with going on what you were saying, bro. Okay. Peace, peace to everyone. Peace to the family. Uh, peace to the ancestors, and also peace to peace to myself as a god. But um, oh, I lost train of thought, man. I forgot where we was at with that. Um, but um, with the youth, man. Um, we just we oh. Let's take a step. I yeah. feel like we just have to have principles as a man, as as, as black men, um, and, and stand on stand on those principles. Do the best you can. You feel what I'm saying? We have to get right with self because we'll get right with self and then veer off and then try to go save everybody else. We gotta save ourselves first. Right. Then we'll be able to save. We'll be able to save. Um, we gotta say, I, I feel like this. We, we save ourselves, our minds. You feel what I'm saying? Then you be able to save your environment, meaning your 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 your, your land or or whatever. Then you be able to save these these kids because they are our future. You know what I'm saying? If you if you if you take care of the things that that you meant here to take care of, you know what I'm saying? That's love for yourself because 360 go back around. But you be able to take care of your kids. You be able to teach these kids that. This world is not what it seems to be. Let's be honest. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I feel like in order to do that, you start, like I said before, I'm a, I, I want to repeat it so it, so, it, so it goes into the brain and make sure you remember it. No fear. False evidence appearing real. Why well, have fear of something? And when other people, you know what I'm saying, will we, we, we'll do it. You just got to have a plan and just start it. So... That's just the way I feel about that situation, man. And um, and, and I feel like it just starts with you, you as a person. That's the only way you're gonna be able to create what you want to create. Okay. I'm, I'm totally with it. Uh, I'm I'm recent recently aware. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I I can say that I was uh. uh Moderately intelligent, but like completely unconscious, uh, to the degree where I was almost over, over educated and under aware, knew all the information, but didn't know how to place it or how to feel about it. Checking all, you know, taking in too much information and, and trying to figure out who to believe and what to believe, and not really making that connection with the creative uh, power and the ancestors to actually. Uh, open up and level up my discernment so that I could navigate smoothly through education is uh, is still fairly new to, to me. Like within the last maybe four or five years, I, I feel like I've I've just started to to like become uh, a man of uh, value and principles. You know what I mean? Uh, because before five or six years ago that concept wasn't even like in my sight, line of sight whatsoever. You know what I mean? That so that's, was on what, that's, that, that, that's on purpose. Rather you believe that or not, that's on purpose. Because, uh, and my apologies for cutting you, I just want to give you this real quick. They know how powerful we are, bro. They know that. They know that we are geniuses, bro, because we're teachers. Anything we, we learn, we can teach it. Three, four times faster than, than than any human being on this earth. You feel what I'm saying? So they're not going to have you know that at five years old. They're not going to let you know that at 18 years old. So they give you so many distractions. You feel what I'm saying? Make you feel like you get less than. Make you feel like, you know, just so many barriers. So many levels of barriers to say, no matter what, when you become conscious, even us, at, us as people, being conscious of all this, knowing what's going on, it's still layers to even getting to the top of, 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 of even teaching what we what we know. You feel what I'm saying? And, and my apologies for cutting you off, man. Hopefully I didn't um, get you off of what you were saying, but I just want to give you that. Uh, no. Let me ask you, Chaos, what shifted you to use more consciousness instead of, you know, education. Oh, so the 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 event 
that I know for sure. No. The event I know for sure uh, that started screwing with my um, reality uh, was uh, my, I, I had gone through, I got married on my birthday. And six months later, the relationship wasn't what it was and we separated. Instead of going to my hometown and kind of recouping where I knew, I stayed where I was at. I wandered around for a little bit and ended up in jail on waking up on property because I was in the streets. So I got a trespassing charge and took probation and violated probation three times. And I didn't do two that all three times. And then I sat in jail for like 83 days. And within them 83 days, my dad would visit me every Wednesday. He's a very religious individual uh, elder in the church and so he would come and visit me and on one of these visits he told me he had cancer and uh, in that he ha hadn't told my mom for a minute and then he had to catch my sister up and then I was the last to find out um, and so a few things getting that information uh, shattered my reality it was the fact that uh, I was in a position that I could do nothing about anything that I knew. And, uh, and the second thing was, although I was aware that there was a creative power, uh, it was my personal decision and what I chose to put my energy in that put me where I was at. Uh, and that I was not properly uh, educated by the school systems on what it is I was supposed to be doing as an adult. Right. Okay. So although my both my parents were still married today, were are great examples of people, I still ended up where the people who weren't raised properly were. And so that that realization completely shattered my reality at at, at that point. And so um, I didn't become religious or nothing um, at that point. I never really was religious. Uh, I was raised deep in the church, and so I'm aware of the Bible. Like, I'm very knowledgeable of the Bible. Um, and then I spent two years of my adult life trying to dispute the information in the Bible um, through historical finds and science and history and revelation, right? So that, that was an interesting time in my life, too. So between that, e that journey after that event, uh, I began to um, see through my eyes what was going on in my life. And uh, at that point, I started to learn and I got educated. Oh, he's muted. Yeah, he's probably he's talking muted. to his wife. But yeah. so so once once I had that shattering of reality with the news from my dad, I went through this journey trying to dispute what they had taught me uh, and found myself instead of an answer. Uh, and so since then, I've, I've just been um, focusing on doing the right thing every day, learning every day and growing every day. So it, there's been, um, you know, People, people say it all the time. They they can't believe I am how I am now. And it's amazing. And they always knew I was smart, but didn't know that I could be so caring and this, that, and the third. And <laughs> so it was, uh, I'm still going through it now. Like uh, the Marion Project, I've invested all of my own uh, time, money, and energy into the, the outreach program. And I've received absolutely no support from the people, the circle, and the people that I grew up around, because um, I, I was not a great person in my youth. Right. <laughs> so now I'm going to do all these things, and uh, I hope to help a few people in, in my journey, and and hopefully anything I've done to if anyone has been forgiven, and and I just want to go day for day, and live life, and and leave 
leave a legacy that my children's 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 great grandchildren will be able to benefit from. All right. Shout out to TMP. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what 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 enlightened you on your spiritual journey? What what was your event that to shift you into more just two, conscious behavior? Just, there's two energies in the world, love and selfishness. That's um, where, where it shifted for me, um, after having my um, my daughter, uh, she'd be eight, eight this year. Once I had my daughter, bro, like, I had to figure out who I am as a man. You feel what I'm saying? So, um... I did indulge deeper into to religion at, at, at that point too. But I started figuring out that I uh, got a hold to uh, Hidden Colors. Got a hold to that. And when I started really reading the Bible, it started, it, it, it started not making sense to me. And then once I got into Hidden Colors, so that opened up a whole nother paradigm. And then a friend of mine put me on Young Pharaoh after that. And once I got the hold of Young Pharaoh off of one video, I, I think it's called uh, What is Christianity or some, some to that form of, it's like one of his first videos. And once I saw that, my, my consciousness just shifted into researching everything, reading and carrying on like that and, and, and started developing a consciousness of uh, ideals and principles as a man. And not only that, understanding what is it, what's the most important and that's the black woman. So basically, to, up to that point, that's basically how I shifted from start to finish. So now I'm just transitioning to uh, being more conscious and being, being more aware of what's, what's important. And that's and that's to you, like, uh, big bro. So, tell me when you transition from um, self improvement to reaching out. Like, have you reached that point yet? Because, like, I, like I, I don't. I'm building my program, but I'm not really reaching out to the masses yet. It's like when God puts somebody in my path, I deal with them, you know what I'm saying? And I have a name to do it under, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, I'm not like for the masses because I'm still, I'm still not there personally yet. I, I know for a fact. Um, nah, I haven't reached to the masses yet. Um, I think um, when it's time, I, I know when it's time for me to reach out. But um, self improvement, it's, it's it's been starting the past past four maybe three to four years now of just that level of being comfortable and understanding who I am. You know what I mean? So yeah, currently now probably about four years now. You know what I'm saying? So nah, I I I'm not even ready to reach out because. Like I said, those layers and barriers of of, of, of of distraction. You feel what I'm saying? We it's just it's it's not it's not hard to reach a certain amount of people, but in order to get that support, you gotta you gotta break you gotta break through. You feel me? You gotta break through. Yeah, I feel like consistency is really the only thing that'll help push that along, you know, right. just keep doing the same thing, just keep being you, keep doing your thing, and eventually that breakthrough point will come. Mm -hmm. And Crucio, you, you, oh, yeah. you know me through my transition though, but like, I know I'm the same, but I know I'm different, but I know I'm the same, you know what I'm saying? And so right. like, it's funny how I can, I can, exactly. I, my relationship with you never changed, but there's a lot of people who like have, have really, like hurt their feelings <laughs> that I left the streets behind type. You know what I'm saying? The vibe is always look, different, look at, bro. Look at it like this. Look at it like this. Anytime someone disagrees with what your journey is, 
then they're not meant to be on your path. You feel what I'm saying? They're they not meant to be there. Like, I don't, I don't give a damn with your mama, bro. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, nobody's meant to be on your path unless the universe is allowing that. You feel what I'm saying? Because think about it. A lot of people are, let's just be honest, bro. Like, they're not willing to be entrepreneurs. They're not willing to uh, even pursue ownership, right? Leave something for mm -hmm. their you have a lot of you have a lot of selfish people. You know what I'm saying? They getting on drugs. They uh they 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 they, they eating bad and stuff like that. That's selfish, bro. Yeah, as a parent, that's selfish because you still how how is how is you 70 some years old? Well you you been new that that stuff you eating is bad. And you got a 30 some year old son that gotta take care of you. Plus he got a wife, plus he got kids, plus he got a job, plus he got this, plus he got that, and he gotta take care of you too. You know what I'm saying? That's selfish, yeah. bro. I, I I I totally stand on that. That's selfish. So that's why I say, man. Um, you know, being being aware of being aware of a lot of stuff, man, and what's going on out here in society, and just moving forward, man. You, I, I feel like at this point, also too, is unity. Unity is very important. Unity is very important. On what on Cross on what. The Across the board or within our our community? Are you saying unity is important? I know it's important for our community, but do you feel that we should be trying to draw all of the circles together? I feel like with unity is dealing with who, who basically fuck with who fuck with you. Okay, all right. Nah, I don't, nah I'm not saying let me get 100 black people. I'm just going to trust them. No. Cause everybody ain't your brother. You get what I'm saying? Because you gotta think about it. Think about it like this. I just keep it simple. If they say, if if it's a scientific fact that we were here before anybody, right? Right? If we copy our mama, right? Or our parents, right? So you think these folks that done took over what whoever we call like white supremacy or whatever, they had to copy somebody. You see what I'm saying? They had to copy somebody. If we say these, if they say they came out of carcass mouth, some so so all of a sudden somebody got a brain and started killing folks and, and pillaging and all that, they had to get it for somebody. Right. If we right if we raised them, you know, that's what it's saying in, in, in history, right? They say we raised them, right? Right. So so we have to, we have to, we have to, we have to follow our own path, bro, because we've been we've been we've been dis we've been put away from our original teachings. We've been, we've been pulled away from that. We don't know what's real and what ain't. We, you know, we do yeah. our best to follow um, some of the African teachings that we research or whatever, but you got to understand that book was written by somebody else. All right. Mm -hmm. You know, I just had that, uh, not, not to cut you off, man. I just had that discussion oh, with somebody yeah. earlier today where I was, where I was saying like, we got to stop trying to keep up with some of the names and some of these stories we hear because at the end of the day, if this story was copied from that story and that story was copied from that, these people are copying these stories for a reason. They, they, at, at the end of the day, if we stop playing with semantics and the wording and the names and all this, that, and, third, and we gain the knowledge from it and move forward and apply the knowledge where we can, then, then we'll win. Yeah, well, but watch, watch this stuff. Let me tell you why um, the internet and, and, and social media and these recordings and all that is so it's so it's so like important because the youth are tired of seeing people lying. Anybody can put something in a book. Now they want to see it. They these kids want to see it, bro. So having these podcasts, having these having these um, recordings and things like that are very important. Cause you can't, you can't, you can't fake video. You feel what I'm saying? Right. It don't matter about my background and where I come from, or whatever. What I want to portray and come out my mouth is about these kids, bro. They can be whatever they want to be. You feel what I'm saying? They can be. Uh, I don't care. Be a train conductor. We need some more of them. Yeah, but you gotta have access and knowledge to how you know to do such things, and that's why I feel like a certain generation was lost because, you know, it, it felt like the old heads just 
I'm not going to say they abandoned us, but they was attacked to the point where they couldn't really pass down the knowledge that they gained. You know what I mean? So it's like we, we've been the only race consistent um, in America that's been consistently attacked through history, killed, lynched, whatever, consistently on a, a high number on a consistent basis whether it's by each other, whether it's by the police, whether it's by a system, whether it's in jail, whether it's whatever, it's only, I'm not going to say only, it's majority Black people. So it's like, you got to think, all those people, our fathers, you know, all those people, well, I'm not going to say all of them, but most of them are fathers. Most of them have seeds, you know, which is why they put in the predicament to do something to risk their life for some, for their seed, you know. So I just say that's another mentality we got to get out of as well, you know, as far as risking our life for a quick buck instead of, you know, seeing the benefit of just being there with our kids. But see, that's but see, that's what 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 this this, this podcast is for, because you got to understand, bro, this connection that we got. We're going to be somebody daddy right now, bro. We're going to be somebody who, who listening to this right now. We being their daddy right now because they daddy ain't in their life or they uncle or what some type of male influence is in these, these youth life, especially, especially the young black boys. You feel right. what I'm saying? Because we have to, we have to set a standard, bro. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta walk and talk and, and, and have our chest out a certain way. You feel what I'm saying? We got to, there's nothing wrong with freedom of speech or whatever, this day and the third. I just feel like we have to, we have to show more light of positivity towards each other. Uh, we got to start telling ourselves that we're handsome. We got to mm-hmm. start telling ourselves we love you. We love ourselves. I, we got to start looking in the mirror and say, I love you, man. I, I love you, the person that's star player. And we got to start telling each other that we love each other. There's nothing wrong with saying, uh, telling your best friend or, or even a friend, somebody, ain't nothing wrong with telling you love them, bro. Right. Because you got to love yourself. You know, love somebody else. You got to start, you gotta start with the small steps. That's that's how they took over. That's how they took over. Whoever we talking about. Because I'm at a point now, ain't no telling who, 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 who pulling the strings now. You feel what I'm saying? I don't think it it's just white. It doesn't matter, but you I, can control yeah. yourself like you said. Exactly. So, so, so at the end of the day, bro, like we we got to we got to get out that distraction. Distraction that is tough. I ain't gonna lie, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, it's hard. But we have to get off that 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 that, that in, the internet to where it's like we we seeing our like what what these folks is doing, what these folks is doing, what that folks is doing. But we ain't looking at ourselves. We know more about what's going on in the outside world than we know about ourselves. I'm going to bring you back to fear. Do you feel like that's why we haven't created another Black Wall Street yet in America? Do I feel like what? Say that one more time for me. Fear. Do you feel like that that's a, another reason why there haven't been another Black Wall Street in America? Oh, most definitely. Man. Most definitely. I, I do feel like that. I feel like, I feel like, and also too, the fear of that, what I mean by the fear Fear of someone giving us that information, because it's it's easy. It's actually, it's actually we can create it. There are cities, like cities. There are cities and land that can be for sale for like a hundred thousand dollars. I see it in there. So just imagine we get everybody to donate and buy that city. We can build it. But see, fear comes into play. You got um. Distractions like uh, they may say the Nets won the championship tomorrow. That'll be a distraction. Everybody start gravitating toward that, and then they get, get them to, to do something else and not focus on what's what's most important about land, farming, all this other stuff. So it, it's tough, man. It just like like I said, we just have to do it. You know what I'm saying? Stop worrying about pulling people in and just do it, man. Because um, you know, in order to manifest it, I feel like don't even talk about it. Just do it. Just pop up okay. with some lane one day. So 
you know, for the sake of the argument, let's say it's done. Let's say we built the Black Wall Street, you know, mm -hmm. it's up running, it's beautiful, it's prosperous, and right. it's more prosperous than mm -hmm. anybody else anticipated. Right. Now, how do we protect it? Um, first of all, I feel like we can start with our own army. With our own that, army. That would that would have will that become before or after? We have to build that before before we even get it before we even build a brick. Oh, I'm so saying that that's in everybody oh. being prepared and properly trained already. That's that's just going to be a part of lifestyle having a partially you know be uh, being uh, militantly prepared. But see, this is the thing. All right, with that, and then too, like we have to, we have to, we have to go for eye for an eye, bro. Like, if that's developed, right, get Black Wall Street going. You gotta be willing to do the things that has been done to us. You know what I'm saying? Like them gangsters, them mafias, cats. They, 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 they're not playing. You know what I'm saying? We, we already know what's going on when something go down. In the, that's in what I say. Like economy. at the end of the day, that's 1.5 trillion into their economy. You feel me? That go missing. They gonna feel that. Yeah, you like know? you know what I'm saying. So um, I just feel like I I just feel like. But see, this, this the thing. We 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 have a we. I don't know for some reason, bro. And correct me if I'm wrong. I just feel like in our consciousness, though, bro. Since we were the first here and it's been proven or whatever case, maybe we had so much land, we had so much resources. I feel like we just so humble and we won't let go of that humbleness. You feel what I'm saying? We won't let go of the fact that we we okay with what's going on. I don't know, for some reason, you just won't let it go. We okay with like being killed in the streets or, 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 or man, you know, in some places, man, people ain't got water, bro. They deprived of water. Land, food, stuff like that. Flint still ain't got no water, bro. And we just okay with it. Oh man, we just donate some water. You know what I'm saying? But we do something to their community. You know what I'm saying? We they do something drastic, like pass a law or something. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't develop any. We 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 can have power because we got spending power. We spend the most money, so we got some type of power. We just won't. We just want to be willing to be like, no, we're not buying from y'all. But so we get the thing is, what gives them, so to speak, the power is the system that's implemented for them. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, when we go to do yeah, some shit, they play the game. They play the game to where, you know, they make a bill, they make a law to protect them from that shit happening again. When something happened to us, you know what I'm saying? We just got to take it on the chin, so to speak. You know? Yeah, yeah, right, when, right, right. When, right. That, when that shit happened with the coronavirus and the Asians, they got an Asian hate crime pass like that. But how many of us done died and ain't no black, no black they hate gonna, crime or nothing like that? They going to do that. They going to do that. Yeah. They just basically saying, ha, 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 we do it the head because y'all still going to rely on us. We got to get because back. we became implement it into the system instead of right yeah most definitely bro gotta... we still we still have to stop worrying about them we gotta do for self that's why i say black wall life. street would have to be completely parallel to this system bro so all right so i came across something first of all we gotta get something going for yourself first we gotta own something right out first before we even build a brick you know what i'm saying and like i right. said get people together for security, you know what I'm saying? And, and what I'm saying is like the people who's gonna, who would be associated with such a thing would have to forget everything what they know about society, you know? They would have to forget that whole whitewashing, that whole protection, that whole, oh, I can't get this man even though he's got a gun pointed at me, I, got, I gotta still somehow protect his life and mine, you know what I mean? Like, let's say Trayvon Martin, right? when he was getting attacked by George Zimmerman, it's alleged that he beat George Zimmerman up. So what stopped Trayvon Martin from taking his gun and shooting George Zimmerman with his own gun? The compassion, what, he, what he's had growing up to have for people. You get what I'm saying? 
that compassion will have to die out because that's how we've getting, been getting killed in the streets out here. Oh, yeah. I, compassion. I agree. I agree. Um, we have to, like, see, because he the thing is we've been taught a certain way, right? And see, people like me, right? I, I'm like, who taught, who said that this is the right way? Who said this is right or wrong? Who it says this is this or, or that is that, right? So now, once I got that development, I'm with whatever comes my way, because I'm going, if, if, if I live to see it, whatever I'm going through, I'm retaliating the same way. I for one eye, right? So mm-hmm. there's a select few of people that that wouldn't is there there's only a select few people that want to lead that way, right? right? And and we have to get back to as a unit. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get back to unity as a unit, because you gotta start somewhere. Trinkle it, trinkle it, trinkle it. And then maybe one day it it'll all come together. You know, but I see, I see it coming. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think it won't be long. I don't think it won't be long for that Black Wall Street to be, you know, coming. I, I don't think, it's, I don't think it's gonna take long. Like I said, man, I was talking to Chaos the other night. I was like, I think we this project get big enough to where they see the spending power leaving out of outside of the economy in general. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's been done slice America in half. Y'all can hide 25 states. Come on, man. Like, just don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Because, you know, at the, you got to see that 1.5 trillion experience pattern, that's coming from all the lower class. That's coming from all the middle class. Exactly. Because it, it, it's on purpose, though. It's, 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 it's on purpose because you got to think about it. You close people in, they gonna do whatever they can to get out of that situation, right? So they gonna they gonna spend the most money. All they like, they been seeing bullshit. They see been seeing poverty, poverty, poverty. So when they go see a five star hotel, they like, man, I'm I'm living a good life for 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 two days. But they know they gotta go back to that to that roach infested house, right? So so we have to teach better. We have to understand that this ain't this ain't. Let's, let's, let's build off of that. Let's show them that what we didn't, what we what we should have known at five years old, we can show them at five years old. So they won't be in that same situation. They can build within their environment. They can manifest it. They can create it. You know, whatever. That first starts with land, bro. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And now, really, in America, you can't really own land. You can buy it, but you're really just leasing it. Hmm really belongs to the United States government, all in all, because they can oh, see yeah, it. It's a hustle. It's a hustle. Anytime that's why they feel. So that's what I'm saying. We go to build a, a Black Wall Street, what's going to stop them from shutting it down for, let's say, uh, uh, domestic terrorism? Because it's not like they won't use that tech tactic because they you they've used it already. You ever heard about the Move Act? The Move Act? Have I heard of it? In um Philadelphia, where they bombed the city. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. They deemed them as domestic terrorists. Just yeah. because you know they was living self sufficiently outside of their guidelines, they they was calling all kind of child abuse and this and that because kids was being militantly armed and militantly trained at a young age, and yeah, I can't make well, this up. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. I'm not saying you lying or anything like that. I I know how I know how they get down, bro. Trust me, I know how they get down. It's just that in order to so, someone to stay supreme, you got to keep saying they supreme, right? All right. And we call them wicked Caucasian leadership. Or oh, no, no, scratch that. Not wicked Caucasian leadership. Now it's just called wicked leadership. Now, right. Let me let me take the Caucasian out of there because <laughs> they, are, they are great Caucasian out here. Let me let me let me. Great white people out here. Great Asian. <laughs> Like a great um 
uh, whatever race am I miss? If I miss another race, it's great. Other race of people out in it, so I will not just sit up and point at one race. But wicked, wicked leadership is out here. It's real. Um, they play with everything. The weather. They play with your mind. They television. Everything. They play with all terrible, that. Terrible has no color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So the thing is, bro. Like it's. I just feel like let's just try and see what happens. I ain't scared to die. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm like, just, hey, man, let's just try it. If they bomb it, so the fuck what? I mean, we tried it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to do something for this for the youth, dog. The, the youth ain't respecting enough, bro. I mean, they don't respect nothing. They ain't respecting nothing. So <laughs> yeah, I love it, though, because they fearless. They 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 willing right. to, to go head first into something. We got to try something different, bro, because, like, what we gonna try so far ain't working. Yeah, they could be dead wrong, but they going ham. Yeah, like because but see, this this is the thing though. What we get afraid of as as a community, right? If 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 Deshaun, I like to use I like to use nice names. I don't like to use Ray Ray. I feel like it's just so disrespectful. Like a person like Deshaun or myself or whatever, you know, is going down the wrong path. They just misguided, man. You know what I'm saying, like. We 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 not just spazzing out, just going off on, on 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 just going crazy like that, bro. Like you feel the youth ain't just tripping like that. They yearning for that information. That's why they so aggressive. You feel what I'm saying? That's why they slapping their mamas and stuff because they yearning for that information. Why don't but, you know what I need to know? And they spazzing yeah, out when you can't get to them. They don't know how to express themselves, man. No, what being told percentage. They going what off with what, what, what they going off with that mama or that parent or whoever whoever raising them putting them in front of that TV. You got you got you got you got parents out here taking their child to a, to a R rated movie at ten years old. Facts. I mean, just look yeah. at the cartoons that's playing right now. We ain't got to worry about the movies to go to. This stuff the kids are supposed to be watching is crazy. But see, but see that's. But to see that's program we allowing that, like for instance, with my uh, I got a two year old B three right. Since day one, he don't know what Coco Melon is. I I just found out about Coco Melon a couple of days ago. That's just how far out I've just been in that tunnel. You feel what I'm saying? I'm raising him off of different things. I'm trying different uh, like black sh- cartoon shows, a Bongo right. Kids, Healy and Me, uh, Black Sands Entertainment. You know. Stuff like that, man, because there's some truth to that, to the information that we we they took so long to let us know. They only give us snippets of the pyramids, and it's truth to it because why? Because you you ever notice with the information that's so easy to access, that be that be you you think that's the lie, but that really that might be the truth. I know we some powerful people, man, because we we couldn't be getting killed like this for nothing. You right. got to be powerful, bro. They blowing, they blowing up Black Wall Street. Uh, uh, the Ivy League children, uh, uh, coming up missing too. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? They, you know, these these folks ain't making movies and and The Simpsons and all. It's just some truth to it. You dig what I'm saying? Quantum Leap. See, people don't know about Quantum Leap. That oh man, people got to go back and watch that. That man with traveling time and all that. It's it's it's, it's truth to it. So. See, we have to get back to just being who who we supposed to be. Everybody different, and teach them and guide them in the right way. That this youth is very important. That's what I'm on because we tried it. Yeah, that's what uh, I'm mm-hmm. definitely on right now. But I'm with you on that. I'm on um, starting up a nonprofit called The Head. Uh, always hearing, empowering, and and developing. You know, because I feel like us as a community, that's what we can do to better our community. You know, if we always hearing each other's ideas and empowering each other to do something, the development will come naturally, you know, because everything great starts with a thought, but people got to have the courage and that motivation to act on that thought. You know, sometimes we do it accidentally, but we discourage people you know, without even knowing from a thought that could have been great if they just would have had, you know, that initial, you know, support 
for the idea that was fresh, you know what I'm saying? So if we're always hearing and empowering, the development will come naturally. Right. right. And, and and also too, now I will I will say this though. I'm not gonna just totally take away from uh, society and, and social media and, and the entertainment, right? And, and and NBA and all these uh different things that's on television. I will give a positive light to it because at least I'm seeing people who look like me um, either being a rapper or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But we have to shed light more on on the trash, the trash guy. I don't even know what they, they title are, but you get where I'm going with that. The four lip operator, the yeah. mailman, you know. We got to start praising these people that we grew up we grew up seeing every day, the police officer, the black police officer that 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 was from the neighborhood. You gotta start giving them their roses, man. Um, because we, we praise too much of LeBron James and all these these different people. They great people because they represent a certain whoever what you like or whatever. I'm not just gonna go directly into to, to all that, but to say all that, say this, man. Um, shout out to his mama. It, we we don't never praise and look at who who raised him. Right. For example, I'm just using an example. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to because I don't know them, so I ain't even go deep in detail. But I'm just going by what I see, right? Right. Um, we, we don't we don't we don't wake up. See, we don't wake up. See, we got we got to understand our words of power, bro. And we wake up every day and say, "I am this, I am that." Know that I am. So we can manifest in like, "Hey, sweetheart." Hey, beautiful God, how you doing? Mm -hmm. And um, we have to understand that, bro. Like, we got to start speaking. It sounds, I, I like saying I'm a God, bro. I don't want to say I'm a, you know, like, I'm less than or or I'm not worthy of something. Like, nah. It's just you know what you are, bro. You know. Yeah, bro. It's and like, I I give anybody the opportunity, man, to, to start saying it, man. You know, you'll be surprised how your day go. You know, you'd be surprised of whatever you want to, what do you want to have, like, uh, like his project, right? You know, that's 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 gonna take off somewhere, man. Cause like I said, like I talked to Crucial earlier, and it dawned on me, man. Like I see this podcast going somewhere, way bigger than what's going on right now. I feel like it's needed. You know what I'm saying? Like it's so many, it's cause like I said, it's a shift. Ain't nobody going for them, them BS podcasts no more. They want real. The youth want real. The youth going to watch this. Ain't ain't nobody our age, ain't nobody um parents or, or, or trying to learn from this. Youth going to watch this. The youth going to watch this. Everyday people, bro. You know? See you know everyday people. Normalize it, it, that shit. It, it ain't like the youth going to watch this and they're going to influence their parents to watch this. They're gonna influence them some kind of way because they're gonna put it on and just and just be watching or or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, because if my I see my kid watching something, like, what, what you watching with me? You know, yeah. but yeah, 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 that's just me. But at the same time, <clears throat> that's who we gotta reach out to, man, the kids, because that's who hold the power, really, bro. That's really yeah. who Yeah, because the 30 and under for the most part, man, that's 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 30 and unders, yeah, pretty much the youth, bro. Like, you got to reach them, man. And uh, because, that, like I said, there's, those are our future CEOs. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I was telling, like I was telling this, this guy one time, and uh, this guy was homeless, right? And I gave him almost everything in my trunk. And the guy was like, um, the guy that was behind me blowing his horn, like, man, what you, what you doing? This and third. I'm saving somebody, giving they stuff, giving them stuff away. Come to find out, that man ended up being a um, a supervisor at a job and saw me and saw what I did for him. Hired me on the spot, gave me supervisor pay, starting out as a regular employee. I <laughs> that's how it all work, bro. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that goes back to the you know the two the two they say the love or hate them the two energies that you know that we responsible yeah. for. Yeah, and, and 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 that's a and that's a learned behavior. Hate is a learned behavior. Love is a learned behavior. 
You know what I'm saying? Because we only do what we see. When we right. were babies and stuff, man, we we were talking and everything. We but we were told no all the time. Since 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 day one. No, 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 because we're reaching at everything. Everything. We're not talk. These kids, these kids know what you're saying. I don't care if they're one month old, two days old, whatever old. In the womb, they listening. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why they come out a certain way, because they still listening. That DNA is is, is powerful thing. And so who's to say what well, your path ain't the right way? You're gonna know if it's your path the right way because you're gonna see how you like like you told me about chaos, King Chaos. You told me about like how people just falling off your path. They ain't meant to be there. What your 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 beautiful your beautiful guys that you had in your arms, your your wife, your your that's that's who in your path, bro. That's who gonna lead you the right way. I, I uh-huh. guarantee you, I tell anybody, man, that woman standing behind you, she see what you don't see, and she see a lot of shit you don't see. You can be, man, let me tell you something. I'm tell you how powerful that black woman is, bro. Bro, you she 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 know you, she know you so well, bro. You can go off your 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 your, your path for one second, bro. Everything okay? Baby, baby, uh, tell me about it. Something going on at your job or everything okay? Now you just as happy as you want to be. She she she's so concerned because she she got an intuition. She got an intuition, bro. You know what I'm saying? We we gotta get back to listening. We we too busy trying to go off on them women. They know more than because we we listen to mama. Hey, we listen to listen, mama now. Yeah, so now listen now listening listening to listening is a a uh, is something that was taken away from us. And so as soon as we learn that lesson, like mm-hmm. life becomes whole nother like level of peace. Like when people talking about they ain't find no peace, this peace, peace, that, this. You, you really find peace when you learn to listen because when you truly understand what everyone else wants, then you can you can really get cooperation and make progress. Communication. Communication, dig that. Yeah, man, because, um, and, and, and we have to take time out for ourselves too. We have to take out, uh, uh, anywhere from a minute to an hour to ourselves, man, and just don't think about nothing. Just, just, just sit there, close your eyes, and just chill. You know, or go outside wherever you can to get that space. You feel what I'm saying? And, um, and, and, it, cause, you know, black people, we go through a lot, bro. Cause our ancestors have done so wrong. We've been, been still to this day being done so wrong. Right, so we're traumatized. If we, everybody in mental health, bro. Ain't no, ain't no just certain people. Mm-hmm. Everybody, black people, we we, we throw it off. We just throw it off in different ways. Some of them smart to throw it off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some people dying here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody. PTSD. Fucked up. Yeah, everybody fucked up. So, um. We just have to take it's like, like I said, man, nobody in the America has got it worse than black people, bro. Nobody in the world, for that matter, has got it worse than black people in America, you know. So <clears throat> with that being said, how is it that we the last to even be heard when it comes to some kind of retribution to that? You know, anything that comes to light is like, ah, get over it. You know, I can't stand that. You know why? You know, what I'm you know why you have to understand, bro, that 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 programming started thousands of years ago. Right? They were being programmed as much as we were. You know what I'm saying? Genetically yeah. speaking. Yeah, they they it started thousands of years ago, bro. Even, I mean, we if we can uh, we can start from slay, I guess. You know, the butt breaking and all that, and uh, the influence, and, and and to this day, social media, so. It's just always been programmed to like go through that. So the ones that the ones that navigate and be smart about it, gonna have somebody being negative. Then then they start getting the influence. Sometimes they get the negative from their mama. Who who not gonna listen to their mama? Right? So they tell them, hey, 
I'd rather you do hair. I don't want you. I don't want you to go to this HBCU and learn uh, community, uh, computer engineering because we need some more of them or train conductor or going to a trade school. You know, you growing up in the hood, man. Going to a trade school wasn't, wasn't cool. Being smart Not wasn't even cool. that, bro. It's like, it's highly unlikely they hire your ass from the jump, bro. Oh, Say what wait. I- it's highly unlikely they even hire you if you did. You know? so, so that's a problem that that's, we can look at. Back uh, the thing create. We have to create. We have to. We have to teach these youth to create. Fuck a fuck a university. You know what I'm saying? Right. Look at Spurgo. Look at. Um, Tell them to be a baseline in the society. Well, yeah. we'll see. We'll, what I what I like to look at is the fact that if we actually see what people are good at, and then we educate. Once we do that, right. you know, that makes more sense because, you, oh, you're good at this. Oh, great. OK, we're going to get you really good at it now and then we're going to pay you to do it. It's like exactly. that makes that that path makes way more sense other than let's go find a job where we're missing and, somebody. And you saying the same thing that uh, uh, what's the guy name? Uh, uh, Dead Grace was talking about instead of instead of paying them for a chore, pay them to create. That's basically yeah. what you're saying, paying them to create. Yeah, well, yeah create, create within your own passion and energy and get paid to do it. Like, how, how else, like, do, the craziest thing would be if all the dudes that within the ages of, let's say, every male between the ages of 16, 45, can make anywhere from a, um, $1,500 to $2,500 a week, guaranteed, Regardless of what you did in the past, we could clear the streets without any indictments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, all we would have to do is say, okay, what are you good at? Or what would you like to do? You go try it. If you're not good at it, if you're teachable, then we can work with you. But if you're not good at this, we need to put you somewhere else. Let's go check this out over here. But also, right. too, but also too, us as parents and, and black people, we should, we need to be taking advantage of this pan, uh planned I like, I like to call it pandemic. Mm-hmm. Being sat down like we are, see now we can think now. We ain't gotta go outside like that. We can go out in our yard, but you know, take I took that for I took that I, I was actually happy to be honest with you. It, it cleared my mind. Like I really grown grew into to this consciousness. During the pan- pandemic, and uh, maybe we do need to sit down and think and start having these type of conversations. There's jewels in, in, in what we're saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I like what, what 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 we're talking about and where this is going, man. Because it, it's I, I just want something different, bro. We try so much, man. Maybe we need we just. To- we just tried to do what's already been done and try to do it better. It's not like it's a lot of new things been tried. Yeah, you really got to be innovative like, with it. This got to be a new level of innovation for real. Like man, this, we got to develop something different, man. Maybe, maybe if we can. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like man. I say, just the network, the foundation, just got to be solid. The actions will gravitate towards the right people who the foundation journey is supposed to cross you know what i mean so like you said Vod, it start with doing it it start with starting it up getting it going for these kids and then the right kids the right people supposed to be involved the right parents they'll yeah, be involved huh? everything else will come but the thing is um uh, with it growing like, once it grow, it won't but the people gotta keep in mind once it grow like that it's just like with anything that's, that that gets powerful, right? They're gonna they're gonna throw somebody in there to mess it all up. You know what I'm saying? Fred Hampton got did like that, Marcus Garvey, um, Nat Turner, all these folks. They sent somebody in to mess it all up. So what we can do to somewhat avoid that is personally come up with an app, you know. We get it, we create an app. And we put our teachings and what we learned, our life stories, whatever, all inside this app is all accessible, you know. And that way, whoever it stumbles across, whoever 
paths they cross with, they'll be able to learn something from someone else's experience if that's their way of learning. You know, some people got to go through things the hard way, but you know, few people they could listen and hear a story and avoid a path or it hit them a certain way and they like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Let me stay away from that. And, you know, and they could just do it off of hearing somebody, but they'll never know if they never heard it. And that was pretty much my problem. Yeah. Yeah. See, that, that, that'll that be more of your, your expertise because you, you've been through it, you know. Um, so how you feel about, how you feel about uh, pushing, pushing for, uh, for, for us to become authors, to really, I mean, I, I understand people don't have the trust in the books, the books that had a lot, this, that, and the third, but I feel like having that uh, intellectual property is very important. Yeah, I think it's most important because a lot of people, only, only people, especially got it in a book and you write your story and you still alive, tell it, most definitely put it in a book. Most definitely put it in a book because that's forever. When your kids read that, that's forever. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah, I feel that, too. Yeah. 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 I mean, if this guy could write a book with his background and, you know, <laughs> who can't, man? I mean, I, I know <clears throat> I went through a little shit. I could pass a jewel down here. Yeah. Here and there, you know. But yeah, I, I like that idea, bro. A book. I gotta get. I gotta. I gotta put it right down. See, I want to make a movie. I don't even want. Oh yeah, movie. you know I'm working on that, bro. Come on, mm-hmm. now. we gotta get something. We, like, we, 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 we'll work on something. Hold you know on, it. let me. Let you hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we even get to that, you know, thanks y'all for tuning in to the King Table Podcast. <laughs> like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We we'll catch up with y'all later. Thanks for watching the King Tables Podcast. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Then with greatness.